What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Looks like the Lakers are going to get back Anthony Davis and LeBron James tonight versus against the Pelicans. So the return of both Anthony Davis and LeBron James could be definitely huge for the Lakers' success going forward. They lost another um, game last night against the Utah Jazz. Of course, they were shorthanded without both of those players, but they did get some good contributions, you know, from Dwight Howard, I thought, and Russell Westbrook played fairly well as well. Um, you know, everybody else chipped in, but it just wasn't good enough. You know, they still took the L, and that's just pretty much the way it goes, you know, for the Lakers at this moment. But, you know, right now, um, getting those two players back is their primary, um, and that's what they need to look forward to the most. So, I mean, with those two players coming back, now you have more offensive firepower. Definitely don't really add to no defense or anything, but you definitely have more offense. And, you know, that can definitely help in a lot of ways. Now, I will say Anthony Davis can, you know, block some shots and be a big body in the paint. So you do have some type of defense. You just don't really have, you know, um, solidified defense. And that's the reason why I said the Lakers are in a world of trouble regardless of who's on the floor because if you can't stop anybody it doesn't matter how many points you could put up if you score 120 points and you give up an average of like 119 how are you gonna win any games like that you're probably not gonna be that good of a team and i'm not saying the lakers give up specifically that amount i'm just using that as an example you know you can't give up what you put out i mean that's like breaking even or you know somewhere at some point you'll come short at some point it's just not you know logical so my point is this with the Lakers you know they have to find a way to take from the other team rather than give them what they want and somehow you know whether Anthony Davis comes back or whoever's on the floor LeBron James they got to find a way to play better defense and I just haven't seen them play good defense all season which is the reason why they're in, they're in the predicament that they're in which is barely in the playing tournament might be knocked out of the playing tournament and, I, and a lot of people don't want to say it but you know it would be a travesty to me if the Lakers don't at least make the playing tournament because that's almost like a second opportunity to make the playoffs even though you've been playing piss poor the whole season i mean think about it. the 10th seed has an opportunity to make it into the first round of playoffs if they can get out the playing tournament i mean that's never happened before so you know with that being said it gives lower seeded teams an opportunity to make something of themselves or make their season or should i say right their wrongs in their season make their season better you know by entering the playoffs and maybe getting a couple wins and going further than what they thought they could and maybe that's the case for the Lakers, but we'll have to see how it pans out. We'll have to see how Anthony Davis, you know, makes an effect on the game. Hopefully tonight when he comes back against the Pelicans. Um, I'm just not a big believer in this team. You know, this team here, you know, they're, uh, they got a lot of star pieces. But, you know, just because you got star pieces don't mean that you're built for a championship. As I always say, chemistry and camaraderie is the two words that I feel like, you know, is big for every NBA team. And really, you can add another um word to that and another c word i should say in kim and in um you know confidence you know what i'm saying that confidence is is huge you know what i'm saying and it's, it's it's another thing that's huge when you think about these basketball games and how these games are played and what you need to do to win every night and i also can add another word to that is consistency something that the lakers you know don't have good habits of they don't consistently do things good they consistently do things bad and that's the reason why they're the situation they're in which is almost barely in the playing tournament so i'm not sure if anthony davis is going to make much of a difference i mean the analysts are saying no anthony davis when he comes back you know everything will be different especially shannon sharp you hear him running his mouth all the time about that and that's you know um and i understand that's his team and that's his guy he rides for lebron james but sometime he could be a little bit annoying just by speaking on things like that just just being one one-sided one-minded like that you know uh, i don't know if anthony davis is going to make all the world difference because I saw Anthony Davis play early this season um, and the Lakers weren't no better with him on the floor with it without him with LeBron without LeBron with Russell Westbrook the one or two games he sat out without Russell Westbrook it doesn't matter like I said when you don't have any defense it shows and when it shows trust me teams exploit that 
Every team that plays the Lakers just want to be able to get into a rhythm a little bit because once they hit a rhythm, they know the Lakers can't stop anything they're doing because the Lakers just aren't good defensively. So, I mean, once you hit a rhythm and figure out there's nobody to stop you going into the paint, I mean, well, teams just feast on that after a while. This is the reason why the Lakers might have a 20-something point lead in the game and blow it all the time and never sustain leads because, like I said, they don't have anybody to stop anything. I mean, all their players got star names all their players seem like they're going to the hall of fame but the hall of fame is an enshrinement of something that's in the future after you retire that has nothing to do with now that has nothing to do with you know how great you're playing now how you're making making your team better you see and even though lebron is putting up all these points and i commend him for that because he's doing a great job he's holding it down as much as he can and he's trying to get that scoring title too but at the same time it's not equating to winning and when you put on a purple and gold jersey you know the years um that i've watched you know um you know, Kobe Bryant, purple and yellow jersey, with the years I've watched Kobe Bryant, you know, and all that, it's about winning. And, you know, that's what this culture has always been about, even before him. So, I mean, if the Lakers aren't winning, they're trash. And that's just the way it is. And nobody else looks at it any other way. It's either win or bust. That's There's no, oh, they had an all right season. They did pretty good. The Lakers are not one of those teams. It's either good or bad, just like the Knicks, just like the Boston Celtics, you know, teams like that. You know, what I'm saying just, you know, Chicago Bull, whatever. Certain teams, it's either you had a, it's either you had a good season or it's either you, you win or you lose. It's nothing in between. You see what I'm saying? So for the Lakers, nobody's making excuses for them. And well, nobody on this side anyway is making excuses. Seems like the NBA analysts and all the people on ESPN make excuses for them. But um, they really shouldn't, because like I said, you are what your record is. And that's just what I've always said. If the Lakers were much better than what they are, they would have shown it by now. Now, I said yes in yesterday's video, they still have a chance. Of course, they, they still got a chance to make the playing tournament. I mean, they're one game behind, you know, so they still have a chance. And it's a very very slim chance it's probably about 25 percent at this time but at the same point it's still a chance for them to make the play in and possibly if they got out of that which i don't see them getting out of that if they did make it um they can you know get a first round against maybe the phoenix suns which would be the same thing they had last year and they'll probably get knocked off even if they did make it that far but this is my point the lakers right now I don't even know if they can make the play. I, I don't even know if they, even if they made the play in, I don't see them getting out of it because there's just, you know, the couple teams they have in there is just going to be tough matchups for them. If they had to play the Clippers again, well, that's really going to be tough now that Paul George is there, even though the Clippers did lose last night against the Bulls in overtime, really good game. But I think that's mainly because, you know, PG was on restricted minutes too. And, you know, um, the you know Clippers couldn't pull that out. But regardless of who the Clippers lose to, they haven't lost to the Lakers none this season and the Lakers would have to prove that they can beat them because that's just the one team that really has their number and this is the reason why I said a couple years ago even in the bubble when you know the Clippers lost and you know they you know they didn't want to be there and all that type stuff I said if the Lakers had to face the Clippers in a seven game series for some reason I just didn't think the Lakers would beat them just because that's just that team that has their number. You see what I'm saying? And on top of that, Kawhi Leonard has always had LeBron's number. I mean, he's just that one player that LeBron secretly fears to me because, I mean, he beat LeBron in, in an NBA Finals, basically with the Spurs. Um, and then on top of that, the matchups they've had throughout the years, he's, Kawhi's clearly, you know, won most of those. So, I mean... Um, it would be tough if they had to play the Clippers just because not even saying uh, Kawhi would be there, but just the fact of playing the Clippers is just tough for them. Even this year, you know, without Kawhi or PG, they lost to him four straight times. So, I mean, that would be tough for the Lakers if they go into the playing tournament and have to play them. So it just it's just tough for the Lakers all the way around. Tough season, you know, um, very, very tough sledding for them. Um, you know, I. I Personally, it, it would feel weird without at least seeing them in the playoffs or playing tournament, whatever you want to call it. Um, it would just be weird not to see the Lakers there, especially with three superstars. I mean, you got to find a way to get in there with all the talent that you have. You got way too much talent on that team to not be in there. Now, I understand they don't have defense and all that, but still, none of that really matters. I mean, you got three you're supposed to have three nuclear weapons you can only and technically you only got one the way it looks because anthony davis can't stay healthy and russell westbrook plays good at times but just not the superstar level that we're accustomed to seeing so 
you know, it all, you know, plays out for the bad for them. But at the same time, there's still a chance. I mean, as bad as they played, they still got a chance to make the play in. I mean, by now, like I said, they should be the, the 15th seed or something like that as bad as they play. I mean, based upon the way I've seen them play in the last three months, I mean, two, three months, I, I just haven't been impressed at all. But like I said, they're hanging on by a string and they're just hoping the Spurs lose out and they just went out, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be, because the Spurs got the tiebreaker. So, I mean, it's very, very slim chance they can make the play in. But I mean, they have to basically just went out and, you know, getting Anthony Davis and uh, LeBron back tonight definitely can possibly help their chances. I don't know how much it's going to help. I don't think it's going to help much personally, but it definitely gives them more of a chance to, you know, possibly win out, you know. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it pans out for them right now like I said it doesn't look good but you know hey you know if they find a way to sneak into that tournament and um, you know you just everybody got the same record when the tournament starts everybody got the same record when the playoff starts 0-0 so we never know what happens so you just got to see how it goes I personally think if they do make the playing tournament they'll be out you know um, in no time um, and it wouldn't surprise me it wouldn't surprise me if they don't make the playing tournament but I would you know it definitely you know it definitely would be awkward you know not to see them at least get in there you know so but we'll see how it plays out hopefully them two come back tonight and um against the pelicans which is a big game for them um and uh see if they can pull out a victory and kind of build on that but hey that's my take on everything leave any comments in the comment section as always and hey cali out